In recent years, many businesses and developers have increasingly relied on external authentication providers to streamline their user authentication processes. Not many developers out there tend to build their own authentication system from scratch these days. However, the recent surge in Auth Zero's pricing, particularly with their B2C Essentials plan, has left many businesses questioning the sustainability and viability of depending solely on external authentication services. So let's explore the reasons why developers and businesses should consider implementing their own authentication systems and the potential benefits of doing so. This year, Auth0, a popular authentication and authorization platform, announced a significant increase in the pricing of their B2C Essentials plan, jumping from $0.023 per monthly active user to $0.07 per monthly active user. This sudden and substantial price hike sparked concerns amongst businesses, especially those with a high number of non-paying users, as it rendered Auth0 services considerably more expensive. Because of course, if your application has tons of users, but only a small portion of them actually pay for your service, you nevertheless get charged for every registered user by Auth providers, even the ones who aren't paying for a subscription or service in your platform. This ultimately incurs a loss for you, but profit for the auth providers. Also, relying solely on external authentication providers can result in vendor lock-in, meaning you're forced to continue using a product or service because switching to another vendor is not practical. This limits the flexibility and adaptability of a business's authentication system. A sudden price change, as seen with Auth0, can force businesses into difficult decisions such as accepting higher costs or investing time and resources into transitioning to a new provider or building their own auth solution. These things can take a lot of time because you have to make sure your existing customer base doesn't get affected and is smoothly transitioned to the newly implemented solution. There's also the fact that external authentication providers offer a standardized set of features and configurations. However, businesses with unique authentication requirements may find it challenging to implement customizations within the constraints of these third-party services. In this case as well, building your own auth system provides greater flexibility to tailor authentication processes according to specific needs. And lastly, security can sometimes be a huge concern in authentication systems. Depending solely on external providers may raise questions about data privacy and security, as businesses have less control over how user data is handled. You can never really be sure about the privacy of your customer's data and whether or not it's been shared with others, even if you're promised of no such activities by auth providers. And so, implementing your own authentication system shall allow your business to have a more direct role in securing sensitive user information. Well, the only reason one seems to opt for an external auth provider is because, of course, it does the work for you. You don't have to take care of so many things on so many levels, such as handling user credentials, multi-factor authentication, session handling, token generation and exchange, token expiry and renewal, a promise of security handling, and so many other things. So of course, if you stumble upon an auth provider that provides all of that, you're less burdened on so many levels. However, just as we discussed in this video, it's important to keep the risks in mind as well. Because when you depend on something else, you just as well don't have any control over it. That's all for the video. If you found it insightful, drop a like and subscribe for more.